Service to humanity is service to God. For many years religion has played a pivotal role in the well-being of human beings not only spiritually but also socially. The Catholic Church has been in the forefront in spreading the word of God to many parts of the world as well as uplifting the social life of people. Among those who compose the Catholic Church are the nuns, commonly referred to as sisters, who work together with the other church leaders and the laity. The church has different congregations of the sisters as defined by their respective charisma, who serve in different parts of the world and among them are the little sisters of Saint Teresa of the Child Jesus. The Little Sisters of Saint Teresa of the Child Jesus is an international religious congregation which was started in 1923 by Mother Maria Zanelli and Father Giuseppe Mazzanti. Under the action of the Holy Spirit, the Institute was born in the Church to be a witness and bearer of the merciful love of the Father to the little ones of the Kingdom. The Sisters follow Christ in His poverty, chastity and obedience while living their calling. The structure of the congregation is as follows. The headquarters is the Mother House, which is based in Imola, Italy, where the Superior General and her Council reside. Each country has a representative known as a Delegate and the local superiors who work closely with the Mother General. The word little reflects the attitude with which the sisters serve, that is, in simplicity and humility of heart, acknowledging their total dependence on God as inspired by Saint Teresa of the Child Jesus. There is a spirit that animates our work. It is a spirit of spirituality of Saint Teresa of the Child Jesus that consists in a disposition of art that deep in my heart I am very conscious of a call and a mission that has been entrusted to me, but I'm also aware and I recognize my limitations, my littleness in the arms of God. The Little Sisters of Saint Teresa dedicate themselves even in mission land to an apostolate of charity in whatever work that requires in them the presence of merciful love and of the Church in favor of the most needy, particularly among young people in a spirit which makes them a graceful and joyful gift to their neighbor. In response to their call to serve in mission lands, the sisters left Italy for Brazil in 1965 and later moved to Kenya in 1967. The first group of sisters arrived in Meru to start their mission work as per the invitation of the then leadership of the Catholic Church in the region. We came to Kenya in 1967, 26 of January 1967. We got the first group of our sisters who came, having been invited by the then Bishop of the Diocese of Meru, Bishop Lawrence Benzoni. The sisters arrived and they engaged in health care and delivery and the service to the poor. The mind and heart of the Little Sisters of Saint Teresa should listen continually to the call of the Church according to the demands and necessities of the time, doing everything as well as she can just as the founders would do if they were alive today. So I guess in moving around in the various houses that we have like in Kenya, since it's all to end the advantage to reach it too, you realize that different activities, people benefiting, maybe the age, we have the school programs, the feeding programs, the orphans themselves, the, the pastoral works in the parishes, the, the law program as do our social services in the community, they are all aimed to one thing. Making these people feel that God is a massive father, despite what I've gone through in life, he's still like carry God. To ensure continuity of the gift of God to the human society through the congregation, the Little Sisters pay attention to the recruitment, promotion and formation of young women who are called and have responded to religious life and missionary work in this family. 
During their years of formation, the sisters are prepared for missionary journey to serve all the people following the example of Jesus Christ. Uh, during the years of formation, they, they, we learn to, we say to avoid the missionary background. Then there's no time for a lot of bargaining and all that because to bargain is like we're bargaining with God. Bearing the fact that the community was started during the tough economic times after World War I, members have embraced the skills and art of helping themselves whenever there is an opportunity. These little sisters are currently serving in Kenya, Brazil, Italy, France, Switzerland and Mexico where they are focusing on activities that address the socio-economic and spiritual needs of the people in their unique situations. In Kenya, the sisters have always engaged in agricultural activities as a way of providing food for themselves and those they serve, as well as being good examples to the local community. It's like in Manchaka, there are many NGOs abandoned in the village. So what to do, do we have for a feeding act program also for them. We give them food so often, so regularly. There are some that we are going to go and see them right where they are and take some bit to them. If not enough, we have to buy. So we find it cheaper if we, 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 we do the farming ourselves. As per the teachings of the Catholic Church, the little sisters of St. Teresa's of the Child Jesus have embraced collaborations with other stakeholders who include governments, donors and friends among others who support the activities in various parts of the country. Little Sisters of St. Teresa's of the Child Jesus work in the health sector where they have a number of dispensaries in various parts of Kenya. One of the oldest dispensaries grew up to become a cottage hospital and now it is the current St. Teresa's Mission Hospital in Kirua area of Meru County. As the sisters continued with their mission work in the health sector, other needs arose from the community they were serving, a situation that forced them to diversify and expand. We immigrated here, but we started soon to treat the people because they were coming as soon as they, and they heard that the sisters came, they arrived in number and we were unable even to, to have enough medicines to treat them. Among the challenges the sisters faced was the high maternal mortality rate that made them start a children's home in Kirwa, which was relocated to Machaka, Kibirisha in Meru. Mothers who died, the children were abandoned, and this forced them to start keeping children in a room next to the hospital. This has eventually grown to be the current Mother Maria Zanelli children's home. That over the years, I've seen many children pass through. We are happy some of them are now stable in life. Those whom we have kept uh, contact with, some of them are even working with us, and we are really very happy about them. Many years later, due to the pandemic of HIV and AIDS infection, they started the House of Hope in Elementaita area of Nakuru County in Kenya. They also have a dispensary located at Timau area of Meru County, also to serve the purpose of provision of health services to the needy people. The history of the Little Sisters of St. Teresa Sisters in Kenya starts at this location. This is where the missionary work started in 1967. Sister Maria Pia is one of the first missionaries of the Little Sisters of St. Teresa of the Child Jesus who came to Kenya in 1967 and up to now she is active and continuing her missionary work. She still offers a helping hand in many hospital activities and she is the sister in charge of the community. So, Monsignor, the Bishop Monsignor Bessone, Lawrence Bessone, called us, and the Mother General sent a sister called Sister Alessandra to do the first uh, visit in Kenya in order to see whether we could have come to, uh, to do our work here, our mission here. And the visit was positive, and uh, 
the mission that the sister Alessandra chose that time was Kerwa because she saw that was very much in need. At that time was only the father's house and the church. Sister Mary Agnes Nkatha is the representative of the Superior General in Kenya and the hospital administrator of St. Teresa's Mission Hospital at Kerwa. At Kerwa, the sisters live in a community serving in the hospital in collaboration with a dedicated team of lay people who work in different departments of the busy hospital. The sisters are also involved in pastoral animation of various groups in Kerua Parish. They also engage in subsistence farming for self-sustainability. Timau At Timau Center, the Little Sisters of St. Teresa's of the Child Jesus neighbor other Catholic Church communities who include the Timau Catholic Parish, the Immaculate Heart of Mary Sisters, and the Franciscan Sisters of Williamsville. This center was opened in the year 1976 by the sisters to offer their missionary services to the local residents, who at the time were faced by numerous problems due to poverty caused by bad weather. The region is located on the leeward side of Mount Kenya, hence receives very little rainfall, meaning less crops from the fields. The dispensary started as a mobile clinic for Kerua Cottage Hospital. Now it operates independently as a fully-fledged dispensary. The sisters, having realized that the problems were there, although they were coming once per week, they decided to open a full working day dispensary. Uh, the dispensary was sponsored by the congregation from Italy and uh, the Sambroco people good with us also erupt and also CRS Catholic Relief Fund came to their hand through the diocese of mail to help the the need cases who are malnourished and the ones who are deforming. The center offers comprehensive outpatient care including medical laboratory, prenatal care, postnatal care, immunizations and dental care. The sisters are very welcome by the community of Timau and the surrounding areas who appreciate them with gratitude for their apostolate. The sisters also run a preschool and baby care centre. St. Teresa Preschools serve the local community by offering training, daycare services and feeding programmes to the young children. During the home visits, the sisters discovered the necessity of having a feeding program for the malnourished children, which was done and is going on for the good health of the children in need. The sisters here also work on the feeding program that benefits the children and poor people living in the surrounding area. And uh, during our visits, we have realized also some of the children are malnourished, whom we have referred to the feeding program, this is part of the nursery school. At Timau St. Teresa Preschool, the children are taught through the latest systems of education by experienced teachers who comprise of sisters to ensure their educational foundation is of value. The current sister in charge is Sister Jacinta Teresa, committed in ensuring that all the activities are done well. The children are fed and trained by the sisters to ensure that they are exposed to all elements of a happy early life that include physical education and classroom activities. The St. Teresa's Preschool does not only equip the young children with skills during classwork, but also they are enriched spiritually to become good children of God by following virtues that are bestowed upon them. The parents pay fees for the children, but quite a good number are unable to pay and the little sisters of St. Teresa of the Child Jesus support them. The sisters uh, following our charism of showing the merciful love of God to the poor, we take these children who are not able to pay. For now we have ten of them who are not paying anything. The school fees, they just come to school but the sisters get us for their um, education. 
In each house of their centers, the Little Sisters of St. Teresa of the Child Jesus dedicate time for meditation and prayers in their chapels to receive strength and blessings from God to serve during the day. Even in Timau, subsistence farming is embraced as a way of providing food for the sisters and the children. The Shamba is able to give the children, especially in the nursery school and also in the feeding program, the Shamba is, in, is good enough to to cater for them. As Timau is placed in a semi-arid area, the local community is faced by numerous challenges brought about by poverty. Machaka When the sisters came to Meru in 1967, they met various challenges that included language barrier and other social issues in the community. Machaka Center was started in 1987 with a dispensary and a nursery school and some community activities. It started in 1970 in Kerua Mission Hospital. It was transferred here in 1988. We brought the children here because in Kerua they became many in the hospital and so we came up here where we have a spacious home for them. And here we take maternal children, um, total orphans, venerable children, uh, and abandoned children. At Machaka, there is a dispensary that targets to provide quality health services to the children and the local community, especially from the neighboring slum areas and the entire community surrounding the dispensary. Sometimes the patient turnover is so low in such a way that you realize per day we might get five patients. And when we follow up, we realize that most of the people, like for example, if it is uh, the season of planting, they, they do go to the forest and you realize that the turnover of the patient in the dispensary is too low. Machaka Center is also a home to Mother Maria Zanelli Children's Home, where orphans and vulnerable children aged 0 to 6 years are accorded holistic care targeting all growth and development needs. The sisters dedicate their humble time to play and pray with the little children and teach them to perform various activities. The joy of this activity is quite visible on the faces of these children who play and live like children of the same mother. The nursery school aged children also attend nursery school classes within the same compound where they get the basic motions of life and appreciate school. The feeding program for the children of the village has been part of this great center where the little angels get nutrition from the food provided by the sisters and education at the preschool. The current sister in charge of this community, Sister Naomi McKenna, who together with other sisters are committed to ensuring that things move as per the policies of the little sisters of St. Teresa's of the Child Jesus. Another activity at Machaka is the Shanganzuri Curio Shop that is an activity initiated for single mothers and girls out of school. Here, the members of the groups engage in activities like making various materials and objects all aimed at creating little income to sustain themselves. The sisters help in marketing these beautiful products both locally and internationally. To bring them together because we realize that some of them are stressed, they have their own issues, family life is a problem for them, but when they come around, they share their problems together and they, they feel relieved of their problems. The activity of home visits is quite crucial at Machaka Center, where sisters visit children and the aged, especially in the surrounding slum areas where old men and women live in abject poverty with no one to take care of them. 
the apostolates have met various challenges that the sisters are trying to solve. Also at Machaca, there is a small guest house used by visitors and guests whenever opportunity arises. Another main activity of the Little Sisters of St. Teresa at Machaca is the Domestic Technical Training School. The main areas covered by the training are dressmaking, knitting, hairdressing, home economics and computer studies. They also engage in human and spiritual formation. The aim of this school is to ensure that girls from the neighboring slum areas are prepared with essential livelihood skills that enable them to be self-reliant in future. On completion of the training, students who have passed well in the national examinations are given sewing machines and hairdressing apparatus to continue with the work they were trained on and support themselves. In partnership with Trame Afrikaan Onlus, the sisters offer education sponsorship for the children from humble backgrounds, especially within Machaka village. The project targets nursery, primary, secondary and post-secondary schools that include colleges and universities. Just as in other areas where Little Sisters of St. Teresa work, at Machaka farming activities are at their maximum. The Machaka farm is full of green vegetables as well as corn. All this is done to provide food for the many mouths that the centre caters for every day. The sisters also keep domestic animals and poultry for the same reason. The support from well-wishers locally and internationally around the area helps to keep all the projects functioning well. Machaka community has the formation for aspirants who are young girls aspiring to the congregation. The sisters are also involved in home visits to the neighbouring local communities to discover problems faced by slum dwellers with an intention of offering counselling and, where necessary, offer some support. At Machaca slums, conditions are not conducive for human living, but the sisters cope with the situation to ensure that their missionary activities have an impact to the society. Over the years, courtesy of partners, especially friends from Imola and other parts of Italy, Machaca village has witnessed a big positive change. Karen Mother Maria Zanelli Formation House in Karen, Nairobi was opened in 1993. This is the main formation house where young ladies joining the congregation stay and get their training. In our community, we have the, the main activity is the formation, remember we have the training for the young sisters who wish to become the sisters. And here is where they reflect, they take their time of reflection and uh, concentrate more on their self, especially the post and the novices, and reflect more about their life and uh, if really they want to become the sisters. The journey of formation starts at Machaca, where aspirants take one or two years before joining the formation house at Karen Nairobi as postulants. Here, they attend courses to enable them understand the type of life and commitments required by a member of the Little Sisters of St. Teresa's of the Child Jesus. Located in a serene environment, the house provides the best atmosphere for meditation and other activities of Little Sisters of St. Teresa of the Child Jesus. This is according to the values and teachings of the founders whose dream was to expand evangelization and ministering work in all parts of the world. The house accommodates the postulants and the novices. It also houses senior sisters who are currently pursuing different courses in institutions located around Nairobi. Courses that prepare them with skills to serve humanity even better. I belong to this community, Karen and I'm also a student at Daystar University. I'm a third year, I'm taking psychology and counseling, and I thank God for that. And I'm a student in KMTC Nairobi campus, where I'm taking a course in higher diploma in critical care nursing. 
I'm a student at Tangaza taking a course on sustainable human development and I thank God for the support that I get from my sisters and also there is sisterly love and warmth in this community and I pray for my sisters you know what they do and I thank God for them. Just like other areas where the Little Sisters of St. Teresa have settled, the Formation House at Karen is involved in self-sustainance activities. They have a small shop which provides various household goods and foodstuffs to the sisters as well as the neighbours. At the farm, the sisters work hard to ensure the crops are at their best at all times. They plant, weed, maintain and harvest the crops themselves with the support of some workers. The domestic animals are also well taken care of. We have the garden where we have, we get our vegetables and some cereals. We have also the animals, that is we keep cows for milk, we consume the milk and also there are some people around who come and they buy the milk. Yeah, but mainly the milk is for our conception because we have a number of the sisters. Activities at the Formation House include household chores just to make the sisters comfortable and responsible in the mission. Many times the compound is used as a holy ground for prayers and retreats. Groups of lay people also use the facility for days of recollection, meditation and prayers. The St. Teresa House of Hope was started in 2006 as a rescue centre for girls living with HIV and AIDS. This is the latest foundation where the sisters walk together with the vulnerable children with the aim of making them grow with dignity despite their HIV status. The, most of them, we got them from different parts of the country in Kenya. Some are from Kisumu, some are from Meru, some are from Nairobi, all over the country. We, we don't have the specific place only, we get them from all over. And most of them are abandoned and others are very poor. So for that case, we help them to grow in love because when they are loved, they feel they are accepted because of also their situation. The girls attend primary schools 13 kilometers away from the home, making it necessary to use the institution's bus. The bus provides an efficient transport system for the girls. After school, the children have time to play and pray and are therefore assisted by sisters and the house mothers to do their school assignments. The young children who remain at home are gradually introduced to formal learning by the sisters. And still we have small children who are below um, 10 years, or they are from 0 to 8 or 7 years who have not gone to primary school. So those are the children who are here. They are with Sister Sarah who takes care of them. She is a teacher and she teaches them. Then the whole day we go on with our normal duties. All the girls are on antiretroviral therapy. The girls take their daily medication under careful supervision by the nurse as prescribed. Elementaita is located in the Great Rift Valley and among the challenges faced here is lack of water and enough rainfall. This situation has forced the sisters working at the House of Hope to invest in water storage tanks thanks to the friends from Imola and other measures to ensure the home runs well. The home has some garden products and domestic animals like sheep, goats, cows and chicken to maintain good diet. This is done to add value to their nutrition and cut on costs when it comes to food. The reason of keeping these animals is because the children are in need of protein, especially because these are animal products, um, proteins that uh, 
the cow gives them milk and the goat to use for meat. The Little Sisters of St. Teresa's of the Child Jesus community is growing and extending their merciful hand of love through service to the poor and weak in many parts of the world. Thanks to the young ladies who joined the congregation to perpetuate this gift and charisma, the flames and the dreams of the founders are kept alive as well as the teachings of Jesus. To offer a merciful hand full of love to the weak, the hungry, the sick and the vulnerable.